Once upon a time in a peaceful village nestled between rolling hills and whispering forests, there lived a young and spirited boy named Ravidu. He was known for his infectious enthusiasm and boundless curiosity. However, there was one trait that concerned the elders of the village, the tendency to chatter incessantly, often sharing his grand dreams and future plans with anyone who would listen. The village also boasted a renowned Zen master named Master Tai, known far and wide for his wisdom and serenity. One day, intrigued by the tales of the wise master's teachings, Ravidu decided to pay him a visit. He hoped to gain some insight into the significance of his constant chatter and learn to channel his words more wisely. Ravidu approached the master's modest hermitage and found Master Tai sitting in deep meditation beneath a towering cherry blossom tree. The air was filled with a sense of tranquility that instantly drew Ravidu in. He approached the master and, with a deep bow, requested guidance. Master Tai, Ravidu began, I have a habit of sharing my future plans and dreams with anyone who will listen. I often find myself revealing my intentions without much thought. Can you enlighten me on how to use my words more wisely? Master Tai opened his eyes, their gentle gaze resting upon the eager young boy. He nodded and began to speak. Ah, young Ravidu, your quest for wisdom begins with recognizing the power of your words. Let me share with you a story, the story of the three sieves. Master Tai began his tale by recounting the story of Socrates and the three sieves. He explained to Ravidu how Socrates had stopped a friend from sharing gossip and introduced the concept of the first sieve, the sieve of truth. Before you speak, Ravidu, Master Tai advised, ask yourself, is what you are about to say true? Socrates believed that only words grounded in truth were worth sharing. Ravidu listened intently, realizing that his habit of sharing grand plans and dreams sometimes involved embellishments and exaggerations. He understood that truth should be the foundation of his words. Master Tai continued his teachings by explaining the second siev, the siev of goodness. He shared stories of individuals who had spoken words that brought harm or negativity into the world and contrasted them with those whose words had inspired kindness, empathy, and positivity. Ravidu, Master Tai urged, before you speak, consider whether your words are good and virtuous. Will they bring light and positivity into the lives of those who hear them? Ravidu reflected on his conversations with friends, realizing that he had often engaged in idle chatter or shared negative opinions about others. He understood the importance of speaking words that uplifted and inspired. Master Tai then moved on to the third and final siev, the siev of necessity. He shared a tale of a wise elder who had saved a village from panic by sharing important news only when it was necessary. Ravidu, Master Tai said, before you speak, ask yourself, is it necessary to say these words? Ravidu pondered this deeply. He realized that many of his grand plans and dreams were shared impulsively, often without a genuine need to reveal them. He saw how his constant chatter was not only unnecessary, but also dissipated the power of his words. As the sun dipped below the horizon and the evening stars began to twinkle, Master Tai summarized the lessons of the three Sievs for Ravidu. Ravidu, he said, the three Sievs teach us the importance of using our words with mindfulness and wisdom. Only when our words pass through the Sieves of truth, goodness, and necessity are they worth sharing with the world. The rest is simply noise. Ravidu sat in profound silence, absorbing the wisdom of Master Tai's teachings. He realized that his habit of sharing future plans and dreams without consideration had been like scattering seeds in the wind, with no intention or purpose. In the days that followed, Ravidu embarked on a transformative journey. He embraced the teachings of the three sieves and began to speak with greater mindfulness and purpose. He chose his words carefully, ensuring they were grounded in truth, goodness, and necessity. As time passed, Ravidu noticed a change in his interactions with others. His words carried more weight, and his intentions were clearer. He found that people began to listen more attentively when he spoke, and his relationships deepened. 
Ravidu's newfound wisdom extended beyond his words. He applied the lessons of the three Sievs to his actions and decisions, guiding him toward a life of greater authenticity and purpose. Years later, as Ravidu continued his journey of growth and wisdom, he became known throughout the village for his thoughtful and purposeful words. He shared the story of the three Sievs with others, passing on the teachings of Master Tai to the next generation. Master Tai, having witnessed Ravidu's transformation, smiled with contentment from his place in the realm of timeless wisdom. His legacy lived on in the heart of Ravidu and in the lives of those who embraced the power of mindful speech. And so, the story of Ravidu and the Three Sievs became a cherished tale in the village, a reminder to all that wisdom lay not only in what was said, but in the thought and intention behind each word. Ravidu had learned the valuable lesson that speaking less and speaking wisely could be a powerful source of transformation and enlightenment. Do not forget to click the subscribe button and like to the video.